<laughs> Wrathwind was the Sonia. Yeah, yeah, the Sonia. <laughs> BP nineteen. Ah, BP sixteen ninety six. Thanks, man. Hello. Haunted Mines. Hmm. I'll ban a noob. Wait, Tass was still up? Of course he was. The wait is over. My blades are yours. Oops. So Lucio counter Stassadar. Well, let's see. I stand. Tassadar Vala. Going to be fun. Mm. Mm. I, I I don't know what to ban right now. Sure. I can ban Mouth, but it makes it more likely to ban Lucio. Greetings, friend. Incoming baby high. <laughs> Eight months of thanks, man. Plus, of course, I'm streaming, so. Um, let's see. Do we want Rhaegar? Guess it's okay. Tremble before me. I will fight to my last breath. Why is Tassadar so strong now? He doesn't seem very impactful in games. I hope you will not see the answer to that, Insidious. I hope you will see. See, Tassadar sucks. Tassadar is insane. Vision, shields, wave clear, survivability. Did I mention shields? You take a hyper carry. <laughs> you take a hyper carry like Vala and you double her health pool. Good luck. I think it's a good case for Ming. I don't know if I play her well enough to pick her. I don't play Ra I don't play Rag well. Maybe Jaina is better. Uh, I want to be able to teleport out of her tomb. Oh shit! I wanted to get the the fifth skin. Uh, yeah, I could have, I could have gone Kelthas. In before I calamity teleport into Arthur's and die. Volley butt inbound. Yep. So all right, platinum and below. Tassadar is irrelevant. Weak. 
generally a recipe for a loss. It's true. When 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 I watch Platinum and Below, I say Tas, it's like, well, you know, they don't know how to use it. They go Tassadar kill Thus Lime. Tassadar double specialist, whatever. I don't know. Tassadar specifically with Vala, Tracer and Illidan. That's the OP it's part. Not, not just Tassadar, about. it's the pairing. Uh, Sonya is our solo, right? I must retreat. In ten seconds. Go power hungry. Are your builds working okay now? I think so. Vok Volcom helped me with them. Boons, if you see any irregularities, okay, let me know. Is it W build time? I think so. Arpsec says W build Ming is so bad. Yeah, but I don't know that I want a Calamity into that team either. It might just be what I need. I think uh, saying it's so bad is a little extreme. Yo! Careful, brah! Oh, I did a wheelie. Can you explain your level 1 talent joy? Thought Astral was 100% take. Alright, so Astral Presence gives you bonus mana when you're under a quarter. But anytime you're over a quarter, it doesn't do anything. And also, generally, when you're at a quarter, you should be Hearthstoning already to get more mana. You generally don't say, all right, let's stay at a quarter. And this is why Astral is actually not that good. It used to be better back when um, it activated at 50%, which is a much more okay mana count to stay at. I would say Astral is a must not take. And the other three are takeable. And Sonya killed Leoric. Nice. We should stay together now. I need some help. Oh no, I lost a lot of mana there. Why not? Thank you. I'm healed. Uh, 
This Vala is funny. Fall back. Um, yeah, I think uh, the other three level ones for Ming are good. You take either Walker. It has a few purposes. Lots of dodges against heavy non AOE skill shots. Uh, and also, uh, wait, I get. Uh, I get safe from Riggs this time. Uh, lots of uh, dodges, and also you can Calamity engage and still get out pretty fast. Diablo? What do we say about that? It's taking lots of unnecessary poke. Five man pushing. Oh, it's four. oh hello. Why not? Most impressive. Nice. Your grave awaits. I am very loath to give up top XP because I feel like we could have done this without Sonya and still get more XP top and uh, but I don't think we lost too much because the mini wave kind of accrued here it's all good if we all go here God. <laughs> we lose a lot of XP, whatever lead we had. <laughs> now I'm getting so much Zay's Vengeance value here. <laughs> I can't. This is like the best Li Ming game ever for me. <laughs> Jesus. Retreat. Nice. They got Vala bot. Very well done. I can't believe I have 32,000 hero damage. Seven minutes in. I played a 14 minute game with Kel'Thuz yesterday and I didn't even have 25k. <laughs> Well, let's keep our wits about us. Let's not get overconfident. We're only half a level ahead. Bot XP! Please. I know it's Haunted Mines. XP is actually very important. It's too late now. Join. We need Rhaegar as well. All right. Do I just leave some here? We need to join, join up, join up, join up, join up. Join in the army, they said. See the world, they said. I'd rather be sailing. Where to? I'm healed. Let's get out of this death trap. Yes, mega kill! 
<laughs> First time I hear that. Generally, when I'm Liming, nobody dies. It's generally why I'm afraid to pick her. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, let's not get overconfident and take glass cannon, right? 50-50. Uh, uh, let's see. I need that power hungry. is healthy God, she got chunked So chunked. What happened? Uh, I didn't really look at the minimap during that. Careful, guys. Why not? I need mana. I think you'll regret this. Vala's bot, so it's okay. We they don't really have kill pressure without Vala. She's she's the main linchpin. He's called Lunatic. the camera work some of the most challenging as Li Ming. Uh, I get arcane orbit. I mean, I have to, right? When I have all this. I mean, I don't have to, but it, I get, what, 25% more range and damage. It just seems too good not to take. You got chunked! Getting some massive value here of my talent choices your enemy is is your end. you've been training this coming did you ah. upon you. i feel like with their comp they're so likely to take the arcane or pits because they're kind of immobile it's hard for them to dodge You can see when they want to help each other. And then they just take another arcane orb hit to the face. I'm a bit out of mana, so I will make myself scarce. You're going to cut yourself? No, not scarce. Scarce. <laughs> <Yeah. Fuck. clears throat> I need mana. Retreat. Group or leave mines.
Uh, yeah. Let's just regroup. Oh, they're gonna push? They think we're at the boss? Okay. Where is he? <laughs> the best thing is she showed where Arthas is too. <laughs> nice. Wow. What a game. What a game. My God! Here we go. I want to be there. Ah! Nope. Yeah. So that's why you never ever take Tassadar. <laughs> This wasn't about Tassadar, it was about, uh, to be honest, it was about Vala, I think. She took too many arcane orbs. She's got uh, Hot Pursuit, 20% move speed. Although Vala is a little bit countered by Cassia and by Li Ming. Greetings, nonetheless, she should be putting a lot of pressure on the Owl of Sonia. Thank you very much, Noisy. I think Vala should be auto attack, but it doesn't really matter what he has. I feel like uh, he took too many skill shots. They made a comp where Vala is the number one damage dealer. And uh, carry, as it were. And I, I don't think he was completely able to live up to it. Nonetheless, Tassadar did not get lifesteal at 4. You can get 50% lifesteal as Vala. And you need it. It's more important than the Kalas Light. <laughs> Furthermore, when they have double support Arthas Vala, they don't need Leoric. What they needed was better CC. For example, Johanna or uh, more disruption, Muradin or a melee assassin, which is pressure on us. They could have gone Chromie. But I don't think Leoric added anything. His damage wasn't fast enough for what we could bring to the table. Vala kind of played it. Uh, first, Tassadar kind of played his own build. He didn't fully get with the program where he empowers uh, his his carry. If he does, it'll be like Conjurer's Pursuit, the Life Steal, the I don't know, either Oracle or uh, the Range. <laughs> oh, nice sandbar. Nice. Hope they don't mind me killing the boss. Good job. Very nice. That sound barrier changed everything. 